so I was sipping my coffee and I was thinking about how a lot of people struggle with going into Thanksgiving and feeling like they are going to totally stuff themselves and feel this sort of regret, shame, and even physical hangover from all of the food that they're eating. Um, and I was thinking more about like how do we make Thanksgiving meals something that's more enjoyable, not just in the moment when we're eating the food, but then also afterwards. Um, and maybe not this whole cycle of let's eat all of the food. And when I think about that action, like eating so much food all at once, that usually comes from a place of feeling like, okay, I don't know if I'm going to get enough of this in the future. You know, and if we look back and like, you know, we rewind time, we used to binge, you know, as humans when we felt like, okay, we have a scarcity of food and we're not sure when that's going to come back around. So we do this every year as Americans, at least I can speak for our culture, like it's a normal thing and like it's totally this um, to be expected. Now that's not to say like I'm here to put limits and say, oh, you can't eat this or you can't eat that. But how do we maybe change that process from one of being from a place of scarcity and not enough to one that really matches the holiday and is more, um, more of a like action of thankfulness, you know, as Thanksgiving is about gratitude, how do we show that with our actions? Not just going around the table saying thank you for um, Aunt Bob and Uncle Joe, but how do we say thank you through our actions and our food by being present with it and really honoring our, our bellies when we're like, okay, I'm really stuffed. That being said, I think that people should be able to enjoy um, different things that maybe are a part of their normal diets, um, and that's okay. But maybe not having like all of the pie, like you're never ever going to have that pie ever again because odds are, you know, if you're really in line with your body, you will be able to give yourself those, you know, moderate tastes of different foods that may not be a part of your diet all the time, but they should be something that are, or they could be something incorporated into your diet for the most part. And so if it's like this all like all I have to either be completely on a healthy diet or I just completely fall off the wagon and, and eat like I'm never going to have these things again. That's a really, really uh, dangerous and um, uncomfortable cycle for our bodies too. Our bodies, and that's why we feel that way the next day. We're like, whoa, like why are we going on this crazy all or nothing kind of mentality? So anyway, I just wanted to share that maybe this year, we can do it from a place that's different and really like check in with ourselves throughout the meal and say, okay, am I still hungry? Um, and to remind ourselves, this is not the only time I'll have apple pie or turkey or gravy and dressing. There will be other times and I'll have other meals I get to really enjoy. So let me just be in the moment with this, knowing that this is enough food and I will be able to feed myself in ways that that is honoring what I need nutri nutrition wise and also you know taste bud wise so anyway may you have a Thanksgiving this year that is truly filled with um, not only saying gratitude and thankfulness for all the many awesome things in our lives but really showing it through our actions when we eat this year <laughs>